a orange one here. So uh, this lord here of this castle, um, he, I tried to get him to join me, and he wouldn't. So I sieged his castle. <laughs> that's just you know that's that's how war goes. Um, there's also this dude who's like my homie. He really likes to go to war, and he also has a fair amount of influence. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to just t try and take this. I know it's kind of crazy, but there's huge Kuzate forces all over. <clears throat> They've already attacked us twice. We're going to take our number advantage that we have right now. If you notice, we have taken out most of their siege equipment. So they won't be able to hit us with that. So we've got siege equipment, which we will be hitting them with. You know, like that. Unfortunately, that was kind of a dud. Um, in addition, we do have, I think, a tower for trying to get in and a ram. And you know how I feel about the towers. They're a complete waste. But I am feeling pretty good about some aspects of the siege. Okay. There we go. I think there we go. We got three of the archers there. There we go, got a few more. Oh. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, geez, that was scary. The siege uh, people need to get a little bit more accurate there. Oh, geez, I think that dude that I just tried to shoot there may have just gotten hit by that uh, thing. It's kind of hard to see where the dude is versus the body that's like propped up. It's kind of grim, but true. Okay, I can see them and us kind of duking it out, but it's kind of unclear. Because our colors are so similar, I have a hard time telling who's who. I also am a little bit worried about going on the walls, because the, those towers seem to, the Zongars seem to be just Find pretty close to our guys. Yep, take that cross bowman. I just saved like three or four of my people at least. Okay, uh, I should probably hide behind this line. Let's see what I can do. There we go. Because the archers in this game are dumb. I can do this. You know, I actually, you know what I need to do is I need to play some of the multiplayer and see how that goes. I don't think my brother would get the game. I saw it was on sale, but I think he's pretty sad not getting it. He wanted to wait till it was like a finished product, which I, I, I respect, honestly. It's kind of hard for me to wait for. Okay, if we can get in there, guys, if we can get in that courtyard, I would be very, very happy. I think that we could, uh, we could take this castle if you guys would actually, you know, God, let me through. I'm, like, I'm trying to kick them. <laughs> there we go. Guys, attack this thing. Come on. I mean, I'm gonna do what I can, and eventually this will this will make a difference. Trust me, it will. It's gonna take a while. If we get this door down and we got people on the walls at the same time. And look, we basically have a one-to-one -one ratio already. You know? So we're, we're good. We're fine. Hey, we're starting to get some good kills. I think we got people on the, on the walls. Oh, we got people attacking this gate. Good. Let's get on this. Just need to make sure that we don't get shot by any arrows going through the gate holes. Here we go, here we go. You see him? I know that we are like waiting for like the final say to actually break it, but we could at least weaken it, you know? Okay, here we go. Take the courtyard, guys. Oop. 
kind of hard to even get in on this. Okay, I'm gonna try and get yep, kind of in this. Here. Oh. Oh, you guys were behind me. Oh. Okay, these, these dudes right here, you guys, we need to finish these three jokesters here. Oh. Come on. I can do this. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. 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 Where are my units? Oh man. Come on. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how we we stood there. It was not half bad, but okay. We they actually held the ground better than I was anticipating. Guys, why are not why is why don't we have like everyone inside right now? Like why are, what are you guys waiting for? Oh god, what was that? Okay. Maybe we need to just fast forward this a little bit, I don't know. Okay, people are starting to get in there again. Good. I mean, I think that we're I mean, we have more than they do, and we're, it looks like we're getting more of them than they are getting at less, at least right now. Yeah, we're, we're chewing through them pretty good. Good, good, good. Okay, well, we're going to take the castle. We're going to have some serious losses, but really, all I need to do is take the castle, weaken the Kuse, and I might even make peace with them, because uh, we have, like, a little new mini-nation of ours. It's like budding on the east part of the map. It's kind of crazy, honestly. We might even be able to get some uh, thief uh, to lord right now. Because I think I've given... There's some lords that have joined us recently that I need to get thieves to, so they stay with us. Because you gotta keep them landed. They gotta have money. If they don't have money, they can't even really support an army. But if you give them land, then, lo and behold, they'll have some... Uh, that you can recruit in a war, right? And be like, yo, bring me all of your soldiers. Yeah, I think the crossbow, I think we have a lot of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and make more of that. And I think we'll kind of try and get as much cavalry as we can as well. I've been trying to get prisoners so that I've got cavalry um, from the Kuze, essentially. Can we get in there, please? I think we just need to stay in here. Maybe if there's anybody nearby, I might request that they come to me. Um, yeah, we're not going to be the owner for long, I don't think. And we just need to wait in here. Making peace. Do I want to do it? Nah, let's not make peace with them. Hold on, actually. Um, can I exit out of that and just like cancel that just for a second? I just want to see. Oh, I'm stronger than them. Heck yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not making peace with them. If we're stronger than them, we're gonna push. That's that's a good thing to see because then I can actually um, try and get some someone this castle. Everett, yep, come to me. Granic, come to me. Cool. Let's see. Owner, uh, Ekerind or Prindor? I mean, Ekerind, I feel like might be good to have you have more stuff because Prindor's already got a lot of castles. Yeah, let's give Ekerind some stuff. Uh, wait, what? Oh no, I made peace with them. Whoops, that was... I, I didn't realize I was misreading. If I give that to you and you leave, does that then give it to me? Abelos, that was the... 
Oh, that was the guy that was like a traitor to me. I definitely don't want to give it to you. I'll give it to you. Because then I think I'll, I'll get it when you leave. I'm pretty sure. I think that's how it works. Sorry, guys. Um, and then I think... Let's see. Yeah, you don't like me. I kind of want to actually execute you, to be honest. I kind of think that I should. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Who else is new? Uh, let's see. Okay, well now that we're in a time of peace, that we gotta make sure that we build up the economy a little bit, right? And I bet somebody wants to start a war soon, because I think that we are in a good, good place to do so. I'm gonna tell people that they can be on their, their own to collect whatever troops that they need. My people I'm going to keep with me because, yeah, they don't have that freedom. <laughs> I mean, I almost wanted to try and siege this place down, but I think we were kind of hurting there a little bit. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of accidental declaring peace, but I think that we can actually use their uh, their lands to get some units and that'll actually really help me. You know what I mean? Like getting like all these Kuze units. Actually, can I? Yeah, you're here. Can I talk to you and try and get you to join me? Yeah, this dude, like, look, he's like, he doesn't want to join me. He and I apparently do not like each other all that much. But I mean, I, there is some logic to what I say, apparently, but not enough. Not enough. Okay, um... I'm gonna just, like, throw some money at you. I know that you are a... Oh, you are a very rich lad. I... Honestly... Don't even know what to do with the money that I have, so... Hopefully that makes it easier for me to talk to him later. And he's, I think, a little upset about me taking that, that castle from him. But that's a little, little gift to show him that I'm a friendly sport. Um, tell you what. I'll even ransom some of my prisoners here. And load up on supplies. Eh, actually, you know what? I'm going to hold on to these prisoners. What about what trade could I could I do? Yep, I might just do that and just clear out all of my junk that I have here and take, like, essentially as much food as I can. I know that this is not a good deal, per se, but we just, I kind of want to clear out their food, to be honest. That will make it easier to, like, kind of siege them down. So, uh, uh hold on. I think it's the armor that there's something that I'm trying to sell that they're like the, you know, like that's worth a lot. <laughs> Not sure what it was. It's just, yeah, I think that that's good, because then I'm I'm making plenty of money. Okay, uh, I kind of wanted to go into their heartland. Let's go by our our villages that are maybe gonna give us those recruits, right? Because the best way to fight Kuzay is with Kuzay units, is what I've heard. And I kinda wanna try that out. It's kind of my thought right now. Okay, we got some recruits. Benari, let's go there. Let's go check out uh, this, this village. And what are these units right here? They're Imperial units. Okay, well... That is a shame. Uh, flax, sheep. I'll go to the sheep to get some food. Because, as you've seen, the lords, they never bring enough food. I mean, even, even when I try and, you know, make sure that they have, like, doesn't happen. Yeah, these guys, I understand, are probably not the most friendly with me. They've got only 400 people at, at defending this place. 
That's interesting. I think that I must have... I think I've been doing a number on their economy, truth be told. And check this out. We've got, like... Actually, they took 5k on back, it looks like. Huh. I thought I had 5k on. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, we've got a couple little, like, castles and whatnot around here. Let's just strengthen up a little bit. Hey, that guy is a good person to know. What's the, what's, hold on. I need to just check on the quest. Yeah, so I, I, there's a really good YouTube channel. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a comedy sketch YouTube channel. And they did a uh, Bannerlord thing on like the Lords and like how like when you're like, hey, I'm like your king. And then you have to do these quests to get them to like you enough. How are these? People coming. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm waiting here. Okay. These people are gonna attack or what? It's a deal. I think we're, we're pretty ready here ourselves. I have a large chunk of the units in our army right now. Yeah, where, where are these deserters? They're like not here. The shame. I'm ready for the quest. Oh, there they are. They're moving really slow. Hopefully they get here in time. They'll get here in time, right? Yeah, they'll get here in time. Cool. Yeah, the quest times seem to be all wackadoodle. Like, sometimes it's way too long, sometimes it's not long enough. Yeah, these guys are gonna get crushed. We've got a lot more people than them. That's the nice thing as well, is that this is a relatively good quest for training up your troops. Because you can do something like this, where you can be like... Oh, I don't... I don't have voice attack set up, sorry. I think that... I mean, I could try and set it up. Yeah, why don't I just set it up real quick? Just give me a second. Okay, so we should be good. Let's see how this goes. Cavalry, follow me. Cavalry on me. Okay, it's working. Infantry, go. Cavalry, go. Yep, yeah, that should be it should be pretty good there. We're cleaning them up pretty nicely. There we go. Man, they got demolished. I love seeing it when your troops like follow and understand exactly what you want them to do. You know, it's like really nice. And the game works out like that and it's like, oh yeah, they only got like a couple of us, like I I like that. That's when this game really shines to me, is like moments like that. And the fact that our army is like recovering from the war. That also is pretty cool. I like that kind of aspect. And if I can increase my relation with these lords, I think that would be very useful because we're going to need some uh, some people to recruit from. You know, like we're we're kind of in a different part of the map. So we need these people to like us. I know they're Imperial, which is unfortunate. Because I would much, much, much rather um, the, whatchamacallit, the Kuzate units. I don't know if the Kuzates, like, economically are not as powerful or something. But they don't ever seem to do it quite as well. I would like to maybe raid them in their, in their hometown and uh, have us kickstart the war again. Might do that. Forgotten. I think I attacked just like a lord, and that's how I did it last time. I think that was okay. Uh, da -da -da. where's Macab? Where is this that this guy's wanting us to go? Macab. Uh, big city. That's pretty far away there, friend. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, they have like no units for up for recruit though. 
the shame. Okay. Um, there's some people who like me here. Okay. If I go to like, I'm gonna just like kind of check out the villages on the edge of the world up here. See if I can get any of them to give me some recruits. Doesn't really look like it. How is this place? Play. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really interested in play. I think if I amassed an army and like took out a lord, we might be able to like take one of these cities pretty quickly. But before we do that, let's just improve our relation with some of these people just a little bit better so that we're all like hunky dory on the same page with things. Hey, we got some recruits. Hey, the Kuzate recruits. See, that's what I want. That's what I've been wanting. These guys up here in these villages, I there's no way I'm gonna be able to pronounce it, but they're gonna be vital. Nastica. Um, that I would consider doing. You know what? Yeah, sure. We'll go for it. And I kind of want to try and take Dynastica. So we'll bring this herd that, that away. <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, sure, we're delivering this herd of sheep. Oh, by the way, we're also taking the city. <laughs> That's just how Rodan rules with his imperial nature. Oh, nice. I love that quest. That's a, that's a good one. And Mysaea. Mysaea is also another one of their cities I kind of want to um, check out. I'm going to tell them that I'll do the, the Mysaea thing as well. I don't know if I will actually deliver the herd. Nope. Okay. Well, I was thinking of just taking your herd anyway, so... <laughs> Probably for the better. Uh, we'll take their their product. Yep, all of it. Thank you. Should help support me. Uh, let's go check this out. And actually, we're just there. Dinara. Okay. Kind of a shame. Maybe there'll be numerous scenario units here. There might be. Hey, nice. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna we'll get we'll get these people to like us a little bit, and then we'll try and take out the nobles. I think I'm actually what I've found is that like maintaining a good relationship with the nobles is actually just as, if not more important than uh, maintaining it with these uh, people in charge of these villages, because like uh, like the lords are like. They are the ones that bring the troops in, right? So if you have like some dudes who are like your homies that generate a lot of influence, they're gonna be able to lead large armies, you know? So you wanna have like essentially a couple people with consolidated power is what I've found. Yeah, I'm not letting you go. Let's see how this dialogue tree goes. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of options here, actually. There we go, that one worked pretty well. All right, thank you. Easy, right? Super easy, and we got some people there. That dude will probably actually really like me, and maybe even will give me more more recruits. This place won't have any more available, unfortunately. I think that we actually don't have too many prisoners right now. We've only got 32. I mean, that actually, that's a good chunk for us to get generate recruits from. So we were saying we are going to go to Mysaea. He's right there. And Dynastica. We'll go to Dynastica first. Of course, we'll go by and grab a couple people here first. Um, well, actually, I think we kind of want to go there first, because I think that's going to be a Kuzay village, technically. We don't want to go to war just quite yet. 
We'll let we'll see if maybe one of my lords wants to declare war. Oh, that place might actually be Tuesday, I'm not sure. Oh look, this guy wants his diary found too. What can I say? I have a soft heart. I want families to be all happy. Ideally, with nonviolence resolving it. Are, we, are these? Oh, yep, Kuz 8 units. Yep, that would be fantastic if that guy ends up being our, our dude. Uh, let's see. Is it telling me to go up here? Is that really what it's telling me to do? Can I go here and will it tell me something from about there? I think that is something I've seen happen before. You know? But man, we have really propelled ourselves to essentially second place right now. Dinara. Uh, we gotta go back to Dinara. Okay. Alright, fine. I think this is... That's really, really annoying. We're gonna go to Dynastica. How are we doing? Uh, two days to get there? Can I even get there in two days? I don't know if I even can do that. We're gonna make that dude mad. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do it. I don't know if we will be able to. I'm going right by here. Okay. Wait, what? No, they wouldn't have gone here if they were going there. That makes no sense. A really long journey. Well, I might be able to do it, guys. I think we got it. Uh, who is it that we're delivering to? Old Velos. Okay, you. I know we're we're very close to late, but we're we're I think we're perfectly on time actually. What's that one thing from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yep, there you go. Now we're going to just like yo. We're like good friends now, right? Okay, some recruits there, not a whole lot. Uh, let's see. I mean. I kind of want to go back to Dinara and see if we can get at those people to like us. Because it would be nice if we could kind of like deep state do some like warfare, guerrilla warfare against them, you know? We can get more. No more recruits, okay. Uh, we got to go up here. That's where that quest is. And we got the time. It's fine. Let's see, is this, is that, that's the guy that we're doing the quest for, right? Yeah, well, got a few more. We're doing pretty good though, right? I mean, economically, we're doing great. I think that we're starting to be not just a millionaire, but like a mul multiple... Uh, multi-millionaire? That does, I don't know if that's the right term, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. We are making a whole lot of cash. <laughs> and we've got a lot of lords that seem to be fairly loyal to us. Our wife almost has a full party. That's good. I'm just gonna fill up here, because they, I think, we've got a pretty good understanding. Ah, Hackard. I remember you. We fought against Hecard a lot. <laughs> of Vlandian Lord that now is over here. I don't know if he's originally Vlandian, but that's what we know him as. With a name like Hecard, I would imagine. Aw oh, man, Hecard cleared out all those good units. I'm upset about that, Hecard. Where are we going? Is that really okay? Alright. We'll try and get this quest resolved. It's kind of like the end of the episode, right? We might have to kill a man. Yeah! Hopefully we don't, though. There they are. Because of my, like, Skyrim-esque uh, clairvoyance abilities, we're gonna just jump over that woman and go find this uh, couple in this hut. 
on the outskirts of this little village. I love the style of these villages. I really want to go to war with the Sari and do more fighting down there. I'm looking forward to that because I really like that aesthetic a lot. Hello there, dude. Fish sauce. You're you're with a dude named Fish Sauce. She's like, yeah, you're right. That's that's a good point. <laughs> oh man, so funny. Okay, um, that was from Ezrin, Ezriner. I don't know. It'd be nice to get our troops a little bit more bolstered. I know that we don't have a whole lot because we've been trying to get these guys in particular that are up here. Why don't we we'll go here and then we'll go down to Ezlner in a minute. We'll kind of check out this. See if we can get maybe another quest or two up here. Yeah, family feud. The Kev. Yeah, we were thinking about doing that, but yep. That's just don't really like me. These guys like me. They like me a whole lot there. Kind of want to just siege it down. These cities are like really poorly defended back here. I feel like the, as soon as I do that, that they would. Uh, Mysaeus has been besieged by the Sari, so they're at war with the Sari. Okay, well let's uh, let's go take Dynastica, right? And we can kind of push up and... I think that, that that sounds like a good plan to me. We'll, we'll see if we can get some of these guys to join up with us. Yeah, we did. Got some of their units. Some of their good ones too, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is going to be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. We'll get them pretty good. I kind of want to see if we can actually get some of these Asari units too. It's just... Well, I, I just uh, bolster up a little bit more. I'm just gonna get us a little bit more ready to poise up and uh, attack them, and then I'll have you join back up with us. Thank you for joining with me. This has been Orange One.